Because you think about Fender, the company Fender is like the household name. It's where Fender got his start. It's his namesake of a company, but he sold the company a long time before he ended his career. And he worked at different companies after that. And I don't think that's something I wholly appreciate as a guitar player. But what's interesting is if you think about Leo Fender being the innovator and the genius behind these designs, he left that company a long time ago, sold it in the 60s. He went to work with Music Man as a silent partner for a long time. There were a whole lot of non-compete agreements that he couldn't build guitars or basses for a long, long time. And I, I think that's really interesting. This is a CLF. This is Leo in his heyday making his vision of what a guitar should be. Long after he sold his namesake, long after he worked with Music Man, developing things that are just ubiquitous with the US music scene.